Damn it! Why did I have to do it? That was the Dawn's grandson, Harry, right? Alive. Sorry for worrying you, but I'm back. Well, aren't you tough? <laughs> That's my boy. Hey, I said Yuri was my boy first. I ain't handing him over to you, Patty, darling. <sighs> if you're both done messing around, we just saw Harry. Did something happen to him? Uh, there's been just a teensy bit of trouble. The Union's kind of a ship without a captain right now. So the people won't come together unless there's some kind of core. Core! That's it! What's it? I've got it! Apatheia! It'll work if I use Apatheia! So even if the air stability coefficient keeps changing, if I connect one of those... Hold on, forget the explanation. We wouldn't understand it anyway. Oh, okay. The Apatheia we gave to the Dawn should still be around, right? That was Bellius' Apatheia, the Cyanosiel. Rita's found a way to control air! Really? Cool! Do you know what happened to the Cyanosiel after the Dawn died? Um, nope. What about Harry? Shouldn't he know, being the Dawn's grandson and all? Good timing, too. I was just about to take him back. Go to the Union headquarters. We'll be back there soon. is kind of strange. Yeah, the Union is falling apart. Because nobody wants to step in to take the Don's place. And the Don's heir ain't quite up to it. Come on, don't hang back now. I was the one who led Grandpa to his death. Someone like me could never become a man like the Don was. Nobody's saying you gotta become a man like the Don was. We're just saying you should at least show up to the succession meetings. Hey, do you have the Don's Epithea? We'd appreciate it if you could give it to us. Wow, that was quite a fastball, Rita. That Epithea belongs to whoever succeeds the Don. It's not given to outsiders. What? Well, when will they choose a successor? I don't know. Don't ask me. Well then, who should we ask? That boy's a real piece of work. Who's gonna protect the city if the Union isn't? What? That would be our guild, of course. Talking of whose guild? I know that you sent in your Clouds of Dawn members to Zaw. The Union has never been outstripped by the Empire. We cannot sit here and risk falling behind. I say it was imprudent. It could have been taken as the Union's hostile act against the Empire. In that case, we would defend our honor on the battlefield. And who will be leading the battle? The Clouds of Dawn? If the Dawn got wind of that, he'd burst out laughing. So why don't you boys in Altos throw your hat in the ring? Maybe then we'd see just how unpopular you really are. This is ridiculous. Continue as you please till the world comes to an end. But don't bring up a war between the guilds. This isn't a joke. Hey, I've got a great idea. Let's just set a bit of driftwood in the Dawn's chair. A hard existence being worn down by the waves lends it the exact same air of dignity. My, how ingenious. Yeah, you just keep talking. It's all right to be helped by your friends. Protect your friends and they'll respond in kind. That was the last thing that the Dawn said to me. Carol. What? Who's this kid? I can't do anything by myself, but I have my friends. Because my friends are there for me, I can do anything. They're still there for me, even now. 
Why isn't that good enough for the Union? The boy is right. The best thing that the guilds ever had was their ability to help each other. There is always a way to deal with things, even if you aren't some great big leader. The Don told you that from now on, you have to walk with your own feet. You know how to walk on your own feet, don't you? Uh, you make it sound so easy, but actually... Let's go. I'm gonna get sick if I have to stay here any longer. Hey, you! Wait up! <laughs> what about the Apatheia? If you've got enough spare time to be hanging around those idiots, you'd be better off using it to think of another plan. Another plan? It's not that easy. You'll be able to come up with something if you just don't sleep for three days. Why is it on me? Here. Are you giving this to us? No, this is going to be stolen. What do you mean? I owe you one. Get a move on before the others realize it's gone. To what do we owe this generosity? I don't know. Maybe it just left a bad feeling in my stomach to get lectured by a kid like that. Maybe there's some hope for that boy after all. So, now that we've gotten the Apatheia, what's next? Next up, we're going to the Zophair Rift. I'm going to use the unactivated air creme that's there. The Rift? We're going someplace cold again? Mind if old Raven waits here? You'd rather be cold than have the world be destroyed, wouldn't you? Stop making food I don't like! Make something else! I won't take this bullion! Okay, no food for you then. All of us have things we don't like, but you don't see us complaining. Live with it. You should be thankful. I stopped reading to come here and eat with you, you know. An unbalanced diet can lead to an unhealthy body. I'm done growing. I can afford a little lack of nutrition at my age. <laughs> Repeat's making fun of you, old man. He says you're a disgrace to humans. You're the oldest one here. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? No way. I'm a poor excuse for a grown-up. Sheesh, listen to him. You're terrible. 